Hey, hey, <laughs> I got something kind of neat I wanted to share with you. We were on Discord chatting and we were talking about programming in C using NabuLib on the Nabu. And we we're talking about making a tic-tac-toe game. Then I had this idea, I thought, hey, what if I asked GPT to generate some code? So what I did is I pasted in the nabu.h, nabulib.h header file that I created. And I just asked it, can you write me a text-based X's and O's game? So all of the documentation is inside of the header file about all the different functions and how to initialize it and how it should work. So I was hoping that the GPT would be able to do most of it and figure most of it out. So it started spitting out some code, which actually looks pretty presentable. Now, I do apologize, I'm filming on my laptop because this was a spur of the moment thing. I'm not gonna put together a nice, uh, well, not like my videos are very professional anyway, but so here's what's interesting about this. Um, as you go through and take a look, there's a few different things that they had done, uh, that GPT had done, which I found interesting. Um, specifically, the mixture between using VDP commands, which it needs to, and also um, using printf commands at the same time. So that's a mixture of the two where I guess my documentation in the NABULIB can be updated. So this would be using like VDP write line. If you wanted to use printf, you have to use the Z88DK library specifically. So if we bounce through here, a couple other things you'll notice as well that it did is it did not um, initialize a pattern, a text pattern. So where are we here? It's right here. We initialize text mode, but there's no pattern initialized. So this was gonna show a blank screen no matter what. So then I said, I have a better idea. Why don't we ask it just something simpler, ask it if it can do it using um, VT terminals. Now these are VT terminal commands. So VT52 or VT ADM3, which will position the cursor. So it generated some actually really great code and it ran the first time with no problems. Actually, everything ran. Now, the only issues that I ran into was the um, printf here. When you enter in your value, it tries to set the position for the cursor. And because it's not redrawing the board every time, it starts putting this printf, starts going further, further down the down the screen. And then eventually it um, oh, you lose the, the game board entirely. So the game board is only drawn after this loop has been exited. So if you enter in incorrect information, that happens. Um, the second thing is, if you try entering in a number, a position to place your carrot, your, your tick tack, um, if it's already in use, like if that position already has something there, then it would continue looping, but it wouldn't tell you that there was something there. So what I had done is very simply, is I modified the code just to do that. So the only two changes I made to this program you're gonna see that'll run is at the very beginning, I added some text saying, hey, this game was created by a GPT. So just kind of summarizing this video. And then you'll see here that I added a variable called, a Boolean variable called try again. So this Boolean variable here, if it's set, um, it'll just display something's already there, try again. And down here, it just checks it. It says try again equals does this position of the board contain a character or not. That's it, so it'll just display that. And because it's in VT mode, uh, there's really no other changes that need to get done. I didn't have to initialize a font or anything. So let's build this. And then we'll just bounce up here to the emulator. And if I take a look on the drive, we'll see it here. So it's GP TAC TOE. You can see I've already ran it, so you know that it's gonna work. So this is just some information here about that I, I wrote at the beginning of the program, as you saw. And here's the program actually running. So enter in a row. So I'll type in one space one, and there's my tick. And then let's go 1.1 1 .1 again. And this is that piece of code I added where it just says something is already there, try again. So we'll go 1.2, there's my, my toe. <laughs> and then 2.2. .2. 3.3, three, uh, 1, 3, <laughs> and then of course we'll just go, um, let's see, 3, 3, something's already there, uh, 2, 3, there we go, and then we want to go, the row this time is going to be 1, 3, 2, 3. 
the row is, oh, so we want three and then the column. That's interesting that it is the row and column. You think it would want to be the column first, the X and then the Y, which would be the row. So it's backwards for the way my brain is thinking. And then the column, which would be one. There we go, player one wins. So it's actually doing some logic there as well to check out and see what, what the scoop is. Like, is it, um, is it displaying or checking to see who won? Now, it did have that player one wins, player something wins. So I'm not sure what characters, VT terminal characters this is. It did need to, to put those in there because there's already VT commands for it. So I'm surprised it did that, but pretty wild anyway. Hope you enjoyed this. It's pretty neat little uh, exercise for GPT. And oh, by the way, if you want to try it, you can try it by going to the, your A drive and user area one. And here you'll find it as GPT tick GPT tac toe. There you go. <laughs> I also added it to headless. It's either inside of your menu down here where you can select different games, or if inside of headless here, it's under games, and you'll find it as GP tac toe. Ha <laughs> ha.